first and foremost, hats off to Coach Priori and his whole staff and team um, for coming away with the W. Uh, it's a tough one uh, for sure. You know, our guys, they, they, we practice hard, we prepare hard, and we want to see them reap the rewards of that preparation. And so when you when you come out and play as hard as we do and you come up short, it's tough. It's a tough thing uh, to swallow right away in the moment. And so I know that I'm not the only one with some raw energy right now that um, is, uh, is dealing with this, but um, couldn't be prouder of, of how our guys go about their business and how hard they play and how much they give for each other. And so um, regardless of the outcome, we have to move on and, uh, and we'll get ready for, for the next one. But, but I'm, proud of, uh, I'm proud of the guys in our locker room for, for how they compete and what they bring every day. Yeah, um, you know, we don't really change the mindset week in and week out. Our defense coordinator, Coach Stovall, always tells us, you know, consistent execution and preparation is what's going to prepare us for games and it's going to lead us to victories. So, you know, going into the game, it was just like any other game. You know, obviously it's homecoming. You want to play as hard as you can and you want to play for the fans and for all the people supporting us. But regardless, the mindset didn't change today. Um, I think it's just kind of off of what Rocco said, kind of just the expectation <clears throat> and uh, just holding yourself to a higher standard. Um, every every Saturday, I kind of try to approach with the same mindset and just know that, um, that because my teammates are giving their all, like, you know, I got to do the same. And I, it, it wouldn't be right to them if I wasn't trying as hard as I can, giving as much effort as I can on every play. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I thought our, our, our pass game was really gelling with the run game kind of toward, toward the end zone more there. Um, we were able to, to, to O line was able to open up some holes there. Um, cadence, cadence touchdown, you know, I, they motioned me out. That kind of drew some attention. We were able to get him on the, uh, on the right side there. Um, yeah, yeah, it was, it, it I, I thought the O line blocked well and our pass and run game kind of complemented each other well in the red zone. Right. Big time, big time. I mean, and, and that's kind of, it talks to the third facet of the game, special teams, which, which was huge today, especially when it's, when it's raining out. Um, it's just the, the stakes are that much higher. And um, I, I forget when it was, but toward the end of the game, there was that, or the second half sometime, there's a phase where it was like a uh, field position battle. We were at midfield, punting them, pinning them deep. They would, punt back and we would get it back at midfield and it was just I, I knew how big that was going to be and it, it proved true yeah I mean it's all about uh something we preach in the linebacker room is discipline and you know you don't have to move too much if you're not going to go anywhere just keep your feet still keep your position as it always is and read through your keys and the ball is going to come to you and when it comes when it comes to you, you got to make the right play so luckily my buddy Justin Townsend got a hand on that ball and it came right to me uh, we, we, we left some points out there um, in some key situations. And uh, as, uh, as Lance touched on, a, a third down here, a third down there. Either way, you know, uh, make, make a difference. Um, it's on our shoulders to make those plays when, when the opportunities present themselves. Just like it's on Penn's shoulders to make them when it presents it for them. And, and ultimately they did. And so, um, you know, it's tough. It's a tough one to without watching the film to kind of process you know, in its entirety other than I know that our guys play hard, you know, and uh, we talked about that in the locker room at the halftime, you know, that's, that's the price of admission to be in our locker room is effort. And that's what, that's what they do. And, and as I touched on in the opening, it's just a matter of, you know, we want to, I want for them these 24 hours to get to enjoy it, you know, they're giving so much and just want them to be able to enjoy this 24 hours because tomorrow is going to come no matter what, you know, for both teams tomorrow comes and, and pens on to their next and we're on to our next. So, you know, it's a, it's a tough one for sure.
to me, maybe it means a little bit of something, but to Columbia football, it, it was an opportunity to line up against a really good football team, um, a well-coached football team in front of a homecoming crowd. So it would have been selfish for me to, to make it anything other than that. I don't know if half the kids on our team know where I went to school. And so, um, you know, it, I have, I, you know, you see, I give Coach Priori a hug on the way out. He was one of the coaches when I played. And so obviously there's, there's relationships there and there's, there's other guys on the staff that I, that I know well. But now we've been here for, for eight years and, and this is home, you know. Um, obviously there's a history in Philadelphia, but, but it's mine, it's not Columbia football's. And so today was about us trying to, to play hard and see if we can come out on the what we would perceive as the right side of the ledger. Yeah, I guess I think there's three phases, right? You have to secure the catch or whatever, the feet and bounds, secure the catch, which he had two steps with the ball, but then survive the ground is what the, the language that was used. And so... Um, while a ground can't cause a fumble, a ground can cause an incomplete pass. Seems kind of contradictory, right? Um, it's above my pay grade, though, uh, to fight that one. But um, he had two of them. He secured the catch, two feet in bounds, um, but didn't survive the uh, the impact of, of the turf. It was a, away from us, but, but they saw it, they reviewed it, and uh, assumption is it was the right call. No, I, I don't know, Lance. Without watching the film, it, it's it's tough to tell. Um, yeah, there were a couple opportunities that we didn't we didn't take advantage of, you know, or we would take advantage of. Might be the wrong term, but that we didn't, uh, even we weren't able to hit on, you know. Um, yeah, we'll have to go back and look at it and see what we can do a little bit differently to to be able to make that play the next time. Yeah, I mean, nothing nothing other than execution, you know, on, on their part, I'm sure, you know. Um, they made a couple of big plays there in the fourth quarter on uh, key down and distances. I think, I don't know what the down and distance was on the first, on the touchdown that they scored, if that was a third down, right, where it got backed up off of the, the false start. Um, yeah, just it, it came down to execution on, uh, on their end, you know. Uh, and it's hard. It's hard because you go two of eleven, right? And I know sometimes I try and do fast math with you, but whatever that is, eighteen um, percent. But all you need is the next one. You know, the the two of eleven doesn't help you on the twelfth one. You know, it's uh, you got to go out and execute and do everything that we can to be two for twelve. You know, and if they convert, see if we can go three for thirteen, and, and we weren't able to weren't able to. So again, hats off to them.